So I just wanted to start first of all looking at my uh, existing pair of Ultra Lone Peak 4.0 mids. So I got these in July 2019. As you can see, they've had uh, had quite a, quite a bit of use. Um, quite worn down there, as you can see. Uh, and I got these and I used them on the West Highland Way, um, bit of the Office Dyke Path, and um, and again on the West Highland Way last summer, and uh, on the Great Glen Way as well. And I've done lots of sort of day walks in them, and they they seem to have lasted about two years, but they've been fantastic. So the first thing about Ultra to know really is they're very renowned for this of uh, this wide toe box. So this area here is where your, your toes are really nicely spread out. Now, it's recommended that you go half a size up um, because obviously when you uh, are, you know, when you're walking, your feet swell up, your hands swell up. Um, and I, so I went half a size up uh, and, you know, I was a bit worried about that. I was wondering what, what, that, would, what that would feel like because I've never done that before. I've always gone for a size 11. I went for 11 and a half, but it was fine. It was fine. Uh, it worked out brilliantly. Um, I literally had no, really not got any blisters in these. Um, so they've been really fantastic. They've got something called an event here, uh, event system. So I think that's the breathability in them. So when I was out, you know, on a 20 mile hike or whatever I was doing, the West Highland Way, my feet would start to feel get quite hot and then eventually they would start to kind of cool down and i think that's what what these do they're they're, they're really really breathable um you can see that obviously this is the tag at the back which is starting to come away now uh, i think they're starting to slightly leak here this this is so uh, as you can see this is coming apart um so i, th I think that's it they're, they're starting to have their day now obviously uh, i'm still going to use them i've replaced the insoles uh once uh, the the soles that they, the insoles they came in worn up wear did wear out, um, but they've they've been great for um for when it's raining and stuff. This this uh, this here just just uh, you know it is feels like some sort of waterproof membrane, but um, really really strong. I've pretty much kept my feet dry most of the time, and they're trail runners, so they're 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 meant to obviously they're designed to for, for trail runners that run through water and stuff like that. That's what trail runners trail runners do, and they're supposed to dry out quickly, which they do. Um, if I ever got them wet, which I did a lot of times, they'd just dry out quickly overnight pretty much. I'd take the soles out, put them by wherever I was, by a radiator, but they pretty much, they dried out, dried out pretty quickly and they, they've done me well. Um, so there's zero drop, so the zero drop, so what that means is this bit here is completely, that there's no, there's no bridge to it, there's no up and down, which you get in most trail runners and most hiking boots as well. But these, the Ultra also renowned for this, this kind of zero drop, um, so that means your foot, your feet are completely flat to the ground, which is apparently the natural process of the foot. It's supposed to be sort of flat to the ground. So it, it's, it's completely different. If you're coming out of a, a trail runner or a hiking boot that's got the, the bridge in it, um, it it's going to be a bit of a change for you. So you obviously need to get used to wearing something like this before you go out and do a 200 mile walk across the country or something like that. Um, but they've been great. They've been really, really good. Um, and you know I've, I've I've been so impressed with them that I've got the upgrades which I'm just about to show you. Um, these ones have got gator traps on them. Um, the new ones don't have it, so it's like this piece of Velcro here, so you can attach gators to them. But um, but I really highly recommend them. The Lone Peaks also come in, you know, just a normal kind of flat shoe. So they they, they these are the mids. So these are the ones that look like hiking boots, and um, the new ones actually go a bit higher. So let's let's let, let's compare. Let's compare. Let's bring out. Let's, let's let's put. That's one of the the old ones, and let's bring bring in the new Lone Peak All Weather. Um, so these are this is the new like these are the new ones basically. So this is the 4.0 mid All Weather. These are called the All Weather ones. Now the first thing that I've noticed, these are completely brand new, is they 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 feel like a hiking boot. They've got the feel. They, they they feel a lot better than these. Feels a lot better. These are very these are quite these are quite flimsy. I know they've been they've had two years of use, but these the first thing I've noticed is these these just feel a lot stronger. Um, they've done something to the sole here. They they've improved the sole. Uh, it just feels more robust than than this one. Um, after sort of if I'm doing a 20 mile day in these. Uh, after, I don't know, about 15 miles, sometimes my feet would start to hurt slightly. Um, 
and I think maybe they've noticed that and they've actually they've improved the sole so it's just um, it's just just feels a lot more springy a lot more a lot more sort of softer uh, but but you know that they're, they're absolutely brilliant um, so they're a bit higher the, the, this bit this bit here is higher I don't know if you can see that you just can you see that um, it's not there's not a massive difference it's definitely slightly slightly there's definitely more um, there's definitely more support for the ankle on the new ones than these ones um, that's why I've got them really specifically for the for, for the for the support for the ankles but they, they definitely made that a bit higher there's more support for the ankles on here um, they've got rid of the gator trap not quite sure why perhaps it's just not needed um, it's e they're also easier to to get on and off I found these I found these really hard to get on and off um, and and I've just noticed um, to get them off you just make sure these bits the laces are not attached to these you just take them off and it, they just slip on and off really really easily um, I'm really really impressed with that because the other ones were a bit harder to um, you had to take the laces out and undo all the laces to, to loosen this um, you don't you just need to take these bits off it's really really simple so I'm loving that um, so that's the you see that so Lone Peak all weather so as you can see this is the this is the sole um, this is the typical ultra ultra uh, the bottoms of them really are really good grips um, like the nice sort of orange there's definitely these again this feels just completely sort of like and these bits definitely feel the front feels more robust than this so I mentioned about this this is this is the first bit that seems to have come apart um, can you see that um, so that that's the bit that's come apart um, and I think they, they they've improved that they've definitely done something to improve to improve the front but it feels it just it feels very again like a as I say it feels like a hiking boot but it, you can I can just tell it's going to be great when it's wet it's going to keep my feet pretty dry I think um, so yeah re really excited there's um, this is really really comfortable um, I've noticed but that's the difference that's that's the two of them so these these are still available um, depends what you want to do really um, I definitely obviously I'd probably go for these really if you're looking to, to buy them but uh, these are still available I'm not sure about different weights and stuff but I'll put that in the description but yeah really really impressed um, you can see the very worn down done a lot of mileage in them so it would be expected to be very worn down but yeah, looking forward to using them on um, on the coast to coast this year. So I'm going to be doing 192 miles, and I'm potentially looking at doing another long distance walk. You know, fingers crossed we can get out there and do these things um, in the coming months. So they're going to get they're definitely going to get some use going to get some use out of them. But that that was it. Really, I just really wanted to show you the um, pretty much the comparison between the two ultra lone peaks. Um, so the all weathers. So they've completely upgraded them. Uh, to to be used obviously in wind rain sun um, you know they're, they're great for if you're walking through the lake district or somewhere like the peak district um, they're, they're really good for gripping I, I noticed that after a while they do obviously I'll like show you they, they do weigh down they do start to you do start to slip a bit um, so you might want to get some of those um, I've got some cheap sort of um, crampon things for gripping on ice and stuff you can just wrap around you can get them on Amazon if I remember I'll put the link into the description for them but yeah that was it really just wanted to show you the new uh, ultra lone peak 4.0 mids um, and yeah if you've got any questions if you've got any questions uh, about ultra uh, you know drop a comment below so the, just to, re to, to recap the wide toe box superb your, your feet feel spread out it's recommended to go half a size up than your standard size if you're a size 11 go for 11 and a half uh, and they're zero drop so that it's a little bit different to what you might be used to but um, well worth having a go with a go with a pair see how you get on so that's it guys uh, if you've got any questions obviously drop a comment below please feel free to subscribe to the channel um, and uh, yeah look forward to, to seeing you on another video soon take care